Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. I hope everybody had a safe and enjoyable 4th of July week. And now it's time to get to our Most Wanted. The persons we're about to profile are very young. They've got a long life ahead of them and they can correct the actions that they've taken. If you have any information on the persons we're about to profile, please let them know to do the right thing and turn themselves in. As we all know, our young people are our future and these people have a bright future ahead of them if they just get their past taken care of. Your police department serves you every day in a different way. The police are mighty handy in these circumstances. The life savings of many persons are still intact because of expert protection by their police. James Oliver Robinson. Robinson is charged with a violation of probation on a 2009 assault case. His last known address is Gravel Run Road in Graysonville. He's also been known to stay in the Centerville area as well. Robinson is 26 years old, he's 5 foot 9 and weighs about 185 pounds. Robinson in the past has been known to carry weapons, so use caution with dealing with him. Any tips that you have should be directed right to law enforcement. Larry Jean Smith Jr. On May 2008, Larry Jean Smith was involved in a fatal car crash and left the scene. On January 22, 2009, he pled guilty to failure to immediately return and remain at the scene of an accident involving death and was sentenced to five years in jail with four years suspended. In 2012, a violation of probation warrant was issued. Smith is 47 years old with brown hair and hazel eyes. He's five foot seven inches tall and weighs about 170 pounds. Smith has numerous identifiable tattoos on his chest, arms, right hand and both of his legs. His last known address was Laurel Hill Road in Greenbelt, Maryland. Smith has used several aliases, Craig Edward Purdy, Jiminy Smith, Smitty Smith, Sean Edward Purdy. He's also worked in the field of construction. He still may be driving on a revoked license. Jessica May Walker. Walker is charged with possession of a controlled dangerous substance and related charges. Walker was charged with the possession of a controlled dangerous substance and related charges in August of 2011. When her trial date arrived later that year in November, she decided not to appear and a bench warrant was issued by the judge. Walker's last known address was 801 High Street in Chestertown. Due to her age, 21, and the address that she had, she may have been attending college at that time. Walker is a white female. She's five foot one inches tall and weighs 120 pounds. She has brown hair and brown eyes with a tattoo on her right ankle. If you have any information on Ms. Walker's whereabout, please remind her that she has a warrant too and also ask her to turn herself in. She needs to do the right thing. She's young and she's got a future ahead of her. Keith Audra Rich. Back in April of 2012, Rich was charged with an assault in the first and second degree and a dangerous weapon with intent to injure. On May 24th, Rich pled guilty to the dangerous weapon charge with the intent to injure and other counts were dropped. In July, Rich was sentenced to probation before judgment and fined a couple hundred dollars. Rich was scheduled to remain on probation until January of 2014, but in October 2013, a violation of probation warrant was issued. Rich's last known address was 562 Brownsville Road in Centerville, Maryland. He's 20 years old, 5 foot 6 inches tall, and 240 pounds. He may be working as a waterman. Keith, please do me a favor. It's so important you turn yourself in and get this warrant taken care of. Brent Lee. Near the end of 2011, Brent Lee was arrested for unauthorized use of a motor vehicle and theft under $1,000. Lee was released on his personal recognizance by a district court commissioner. Lee requested a jury trial and then made a motion to a pretrial conference. After a hearing in February of 2012, a bench warrant for Lee was issued by the circuit court for a violation of probation. Brent Lee is a white male, 26 years old. He's 5 foot 11 inches tall and weighs 195 pounds. He has brown hair and brown eyes. He can easily be identified by a tattoo on his right wrist, the letters B-A-L, and a smiley face. On a most recent court document, Lee listed his address as 219 Evans Avenue in Graysonville. If you have any information on him, please contact local authorities as soon as possible. Recently, my office posted a suspect on Facebook who was involved in an assault and a theft at a grocery store in Chester. With the photo and description, a second suspect was included. Within 20 minutes, the power of social media 
we had several tips on the identity of both subjects. Our Facebook detectives out there, you the viewer, viewed our post over 20,000 times within a three-day time frame. Deputies investigating the case have completed a photo lineup and have filed for charges on the two. Special thanks to you, the viewer. This case wouldn't have been solved without your help. Be sure to like the Queen Anne's County Office of the Sheriff Facebook page. This will keep you advised of traffic conditions, wanted persons, press releases, and a lot of information about your Sheriff's Office. But like I said a few seconds ago, none of these closures would be possible without great detectives that we have, but most importantly, special thanks to you, the viewer, our tipster out there, Queen Anne's County TV, our Queen Anne's County Commissioners for making this show possible, our staff, and you, the viewer. Let's keep those tips rolling in and let's keep Queen Anne's County a safe and enjoyable community. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.